Hey, this is Keith Elder, uh, captain of the vessel C Sharp, 31 foot Cape Horn for sale, uh, 31 XS, 2013. Uh, I hope this video turns out. I'm holding my iPhone uh, here. I uh, just wanted to show you the boat and give you like a full walkthrough of the boat, show you all the features in it so you can see the conditions. I'm going to highlight a few things uh, for you that are, are really particular. Uh, I'm really particular about my boat, so I want to share that with you uh, and, and go from there, okay? All right, so let's, let's jump in. All right, so uh, starting at the bow of the boat, we have the anchor locker. Uh, and the anchor cleat. So this cleat pulls up and that's what you put your rope through whenever you're anchoring. Uh, you got a solid steel bracket here so the rope doesn't rub in the fiberglass. It's a nice feature on the Cape Horns. Uh, you've also got a pop-up uh, light here in the front that pops up whenever you're underway. Uh, locks in so that uh, uh, people can see that you're underway there. Uh, you got two cleats on the front and also two rod holders here on the front as well as you see uh, and the anchor, uh, the anchor locker excuse me a uh, very large anchor locker uh, um, a, a, a man that is six foot tall would probably hit him if he stepped inside of it with him with him about his breast uh, very large can hold any size um, uh, rope that you would want the uh, anchor and the rope and the chain of course comes with the uh, boat the yellow bag does not you can see everything's clean uh, is a whistle very, very, very nice. This is also a uh, latch, so if you put it down and lock it, and then you open it up, it'll just pop up. Really nice feature on the Cape Horn. Okay. All right, so let's lock that down. On the Cape Horn 31S, uh, you also have two storage lockers on each side of the boat. These do drain. Uh, you could put ice and stuff in them. I wouldn't really recommend it. We use them for buoys. Uh, as you see here, uh, those are several buoys in the uh, thing there. Uh, and we, we have ropes and buoys on this side too. When we do offshore trips, we take the buoys out, of course. Uh, today we just did an island cruise. Uh, and then we put in other stuff and storage and stuff like that for the guys. Uh, th there is cushions or are cushions that actually go up in the front here. Uh, as you see, all the snap-ins have those. Uh, really nice condition they sit in. So if you're doing an island cruise, uh, really nice accessory uh, for the boat. On the front, you have storage. So this is where we put, uh, we're putting life vest here for now, uh, as you can see. So we got some offshore vest in there. Uh, you can put a five gallon can in there if you want to put extra fuel uh, for going offshore. Uh, definitely an option uh, as well there. I'm gonna leave that open so you can see that. All right, uh, you got cup holders up front. So if you put in the cushions up, up in the front, you have a cup holder here cup holder here as well as the speakers and then also the two JL audio uh, subwoofers mounted up front with a 600 watt amp that amp was installed in September of 2015 and so brand new amp brand new speakers I, I, I put the speakers in in April uh, very nice upgrade addition to the boat it gives a lot of nice sound um, uh, to those in the front of the boat uh, there's also subwoofers in the back I'll show that in a second uh, so you got two rod holders up front uh, there's one up on the bow there. There's another one here. So that's two. And then you got three, four, cup holder, five, cup holder, six. So you have six on each side of the gunnels. Uh, and then also two cup holders and the gunnels. I added those extra uh, here just a couple of months ago as an extra accessory on the boat. Okay. Uh, let me step back here. Uh, this is the front of the boat. Uh, you've got uh, lighting up here, of course, the Garmin uh, radar up top, spreaders, uh, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to hose so you can look at that. Uh, this is actually a cooler, and this is where we put the, uh, the actual measurement here. Uh, I'll get to the fish box here in a second. This is a uh, nice little place that we put non-perishable items when we're going offshore uh, and stuff. We use the Yeti for all the cold, cold stuff. Um, and then we use this for like non-perishable items that we, um, you know, beef jerky and sandwiches. Well, well, it's actually not non-perishable. We put sandwiches and stuff in there. Put a little ice in there. It has a drain plug in it. Let me get inside. There you go. You can see that. Really super clean. Really, really good detail on the boat there. Uh, and that's there. So I will point out, again, I said I'm a little bit anal, uh, anal about the boat. There are some powder coat coming off here on this side of the, uh, mm -hmm. I guess it's the, 
t-top area there so point point that out this one hasn't hasn't done that yet uh, if i was to fix it i would take it back to cape horn uh, but i just haven't done that uh, so looking at the t-top here uh, underneath you can see everything's really nice i'm not seeing very much of anything in terms of the peeling as i just showed you down below on it so it does have a hard top on it which is an option on the cape horn you can also get a, a canvas top uh, personally i prefer a, a hard top i really enjoyed the hard top i had a canvas top on other boats really and uh really enjoyed that one let's get into the fish box down below so on the cape horn you have a 700 quart fish box that sits up front uh it's right in front of the seats here uh and it's really really large uh, 700 quarts do the do the math you can put 14 uh almost 14 uh 48 quart coolers let me set the phone down so i can open this up there okay so there is the fish box has a has a drain goes overboard you got two gasket sealed uh hinges on each side there now what we do is so you don't have to actually pick up with both hinges we actually put a little piece of plastic in the uh, front uh, which is actually missing right now because it fell out our last trip and then you can just pick up with one finger on the Cape Horn It's been talked about on the boating forum pretty much at length. So there's the fish box I'm going to step inside of it. So you can see how deep it is. I'm six foot two uh, And you can see here that there is basically my knee uh, at the uh, side there a uh, very very large uh, It is about seven feet long. We have actually sat in it before and uh kind of laid in it kind of had some fun in terms of just saying who could fit how many people we could fit in it very very large i don't think it'll fill up with fish uh, going offshore even for an overnight or over the weekend very large up front there it is okay so that's the kind of the front of the boat so again just to recapitulate uh you got anchor locker up front you got two storage units uh, storage up front uh, if you have the seating in it of course the storage uh, is covered there uh, with that cup holders here speakers and all that kind of stuff so that's the front of the boat all right now let's move uh as we move farther back let's get into some of the other uh features here so i talked about the uh extra rod holders and cup holders i actually installed these just uh last month uh, these have been great additions if we're at the island and we're just hanging out people can just walk up to the boat drop a, a drink into the cup holders on the side of the boat it's been fantastic even even fishing they can just drop uh something in there uh, so this one is actually for deep dropping so that you can put a deep drop reel in there hang straight off hang, hang straight off of the boat if, if you have an electric reel like we do and uh, you know dial in the tiles and the swordfish and those kind of things okay all right so here's the cockpit of the uh, cape horn fairly large cockpit all the way around uh this one is the excess so that means extra seating uh and also means you have seating on the back of the leaning post so if you're going out and cruising or whatever you've got seating here on the actual back this is the large live well the actual gallons are escaping me currently but they are there i want to turn this i just saw the uh bill's light all because i've stuck in the back of the boat so the bill's kicked on all right so the bills work see there all right great all right so um this is a very very large fish box the way it works is you can take it and pick it up and then once you turn it around you pull the plastic thing over and it locks so it sticks up kind of a cool feature uh, very very large this is a net and you can see back in there very very large fish box uh, i mean a uh, live well all right drop that down ready to go this is a great uh item just to put whatever you want to put in it uh, we put a lot of different tackle and stuff in it weights and different things for offshore rigging and stuff like that uh, you also got fresh fresh water here uh, as you can see on the boat so you can plug up and uh, fill up a 20 gallon water tank on the boat and uh, you got that which goes along with the flush toilet uh, and that stuff there uh, rocket launchers you've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six rocket launchers up top. That little gray thing is my own personal thing that we use on a boat. And then you got one, two, three, four uh, in the back. And then you've also got one, two, three, four rocket launchers on the mounted on the back of the transom here as well. Okay. This hatch here uh, is batteries. We did a lot of work on the boat whenever we got it. Uh, the boat comes with four batteries, two interstate house batteries. Mm -hmm. 
and then uh, two uh, batteries, one for each uh, motor. Also was added to the boat, and the name escapes me, but this little gizmo here, which basically takes the uh, power from the motors and then spreads it to the two house batteries there. Uh, you'll also see some, I think those are fuel filters. Yep, they are uh, fuel filters there. So that is the uh, electronics box coming into the back. Very accessible, very easy to get to. We do a lot of deep dropping. So if you need to plug something in, you just walk over, open the box up, throw it onto one of the green interstate batteries uh, and you're deep dropping, okay? Uh, there are two gas tanks on the Cape Horn uh, 31 XS, uh, totaling 145 gallons a piece, totaling 290 gallons. Uh, they, are, they are there. Uh, different hatches and accesses. I'm not gonna go into what each of those are. Uh, and then on the back of the boat is where you would uh, suck out your uh, waste from the vacuum flush uh, toilet uh, up there. The ladder on the Cape Horn is in the uh, back. We've actually uh, forgot to pull the ladder up uh, when we were uh, leaving an island one day and the ladder kind of bent. So just want to show you that. But and otherwise, the ladder's in good shape. You can buy them. I think they're made by Wind, wind Line. Uh, it's just that it's a little bent and I don't want to sell somebody something that they wouldn't know. So I'm going to show you that uh, down there. We actually bent it, bent it back. It's been fine. I would keep using it for years. Uh, it's just that I want to just call that out. Okay. Uh, the boat, if, if you can't tell, is gray uh, and white. The motors are gray. The actual console is gray. You can kind of see the color there, and the seating is gray. Uh, all the, I mean, basically everything is gray. All the console here is gray, uh, all up front. So you're basically buying a, a really classy uh, boat uh, all the way through. Uh, not any kind of crazy colors. Uh, put some black ropes with it, and and it'll be it'll be fine. Okay. It'll, it'll be i'll say fine it'll be it'll be nice it'll be really nice uh you got your outriggers here uh up underneath call those out these are the revolution uh rough out riggers sorry let me get on that uh where you turn your outriggers out uh, you got led lining uh underneath here uh storage box this has got a lot of crap in it because i keep it up there on the boat but it's got a lot of crap in it and then your console, so you got a 7212 Garmin here, a 5212 Garmin here, uh, Garmin VHF radio, clearing radio, uh, and then the Yamaha gauges here. This switch here, which is an extra switch we added, which controls an extra 600 watt amp that controls the speakers uh, that are up front. So if you want to turn those off, you can to save power, or you can engage that if you're at the island and want to have a little extra fun. Uh, no worries. This switch here actually engages electronics that, that connect the Garmin and the Yamaha so that, so that the Garmin can read the fuel burn and all the information out of the uh, Yamaha motors. And that's kind of the console. Uh, simple, uh, elegant, uh, very well laid out. Uh, everything's in the right spot uh, for that. And of course you got the three, the three cup holders there. Uh, I'm six foot two. Uh, I can sit on the boat. I, I drive the boat offshore just sitting on the helm and feet, feet here. Uh, that's pretty much how I, I roll with this. The console is very, very wide. Uh, and you got the plexiglass up here or Isenglass, uh, whichever one that is. I'm not really sure. Um, but you got the glass up here. Uh, very safe if you're driving, uh, rain or anything, if you get caught into a storm. Um, very, very uh, nice so that you don't uh, get beat up by all of the uh, wind and the rain. Okay, so let's go down. And, and here's where you can really see the difference. That that's really gray and that's really white. Like you can see, you know, you can see the colors coming through there. Let's go down to the console, uh, underneath the console, and try and see what's going on down here. All right. We actually have a trash bag that I haven't taken out yet. But the uh, console, uh, you got the uh, extra vacuum flush uh, toilet. Uh, and then here are all the electronics. There are two JL amps. One's a 1000 watt, one is a 600 watt amp uh, and all the wiring. So I'm just gonna kind of pan here. I'll let you look around. All right. As you go through. There is a hatch uh, down there by the uh, orange bucket that uh, gets you into something. And there's also a hatch back this way. So you need to access anything fairly uh, fairly easy. I actually, what I do is I stick a little vacuum suck uh, thing here, tie a garbage bag, makes it easy to actually put garbage in the boat uh, for everybody. Makes it easy, it's out of the way uh, and uh, fairly accessible. 
Okay, so I'm just kind of panning around. What else do I need to tell you? Uh, I showed you the inside of the console. I also added, which wasn't on the boat, a way to store different things mm -hmm. like gas and other stuff on this side. And then I'll show you on the other side as well. So that was an extra option that was added. You can see here where you can put your gas in here. They're not very neatly stored right now. Don't worry about it. We just got off the boat. But uh, you can store those uh, there. Uh, and trying to think what else. You got speakers in the back. Here, I didn't call this out, but right here uh, and here, which is in the back of the boat, let me stand back, is actually where you can put a transom seat. Uh, so a transom seat does come with this boat. We do not use it uh, because we want a very open cockpit. That, that's just kind of how we fish. Uh, but you can see that you can put a transom mm -hmm. seat there. Really nice if you're going to cruise. So you could put two or three people here. So you got one, two, three. Turn around, four, five on the cockpit, six, seven, right? And then eight and nine you can sit up here. And then you can put 10, 11, 12. We've had as many as 14 people on this boat at one time. Uh, and the boat does fine. Uh, I say, well, I say 14 people. We had 14 people and a whole bunch of coolers uh, and ice and a slam full of storage. The boat was just uh, crazy loaded. That's probably the loaded, the most loaded I've ever had the boat. Uh, but the boat did fine. We were able to uh, go out to the islands and uh, have a have a really good time. So let's see. So we have a live well in the back. So there's two live wells on the boat. Uh, I forget how big this one is. You can look it up on uh, the Cape Horn website. It's here in the back, uh, as well as, you know, the big one here. We tend to run this one when we're offshore. Uh, if we're just, you know, catching stuff, we'll use this. We'll also double up and just use it as a cooler. I mean, we'll throw ice in it and some food and stuff if we're just going to the islands and just having some fun. So uh, this is the Cape Horn 31. It's for sale. It needs a new home. Uh, it's ready to go somewhere. So uh, the boat is super clean, uh, super nice, and uh, really just really rigged out to fish, ready to go fishing. Uh, the only thing it doesn't have is an autopilot. That's the, that is the only thing I would add to this boat is an autopilot. Uh, it doesn't have it yet because I just haven't had time to add it, uh, but it was on my bucket list. Um, I just really thought the deep drop uh, stuff was a little bit more uh, in, important there so oh there is a actual uh charger on board so this is the plug this is the uh where this where the steering wheel is uh and you can see this down down here so we can plug in it's a three battery charger with we'll charge all the batteries in the back back there uh, and that is a uh, it's yellow and it's a name brand and i can't remember what it is it's pro something so let's go look well it's not here Hang on. It's over here, back in the boat. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. No. I'm looking. No, I can't see. So. No worries. Okay, it's getting dark. Sorry about that. Uh, 18 minutes. Look, this is the boat. Uh, super clean. You can see all the hatches. I'm showing you all of that. Everything's out. Um, boat is just ready to go. We we used the boat 50-50. Uh, probably 60. Well, probably 60-40. We probably do more trips to the islands than we do fishing because you know fishing's hard to do whenever you're traveling around uh, like I do. Uh, so I want to go ahead and step up to the top mm -hmm. sorry about that step off the boat kind of show you the top mm -hmm. okay oh, there's the top of the t-top kind of make another view down the boat okay super clean boat ready to fish needs nothing absolutely ready to go That's it. That's the Cape Horn 31 XS 2013. Call me at 601-467-9744 or email me at keith at keithelder.net.